There are three main types of immediate hypersensitivity, type 1, type 2 and type 3. Type 1 hypersensitivity is immediate and it's the most common and it's due to re-exposure to specific antigens. The example being IgE mediated mast cell degranulation. Uh, this degranulation it causes immediate release of histamine, which causes anaphylaxis, the examples being hay fever and eczema. The stages are first exposure, so this is called sensitization, so we become sensitive to it, to the antigen. Uh, antigen presenting cells recognize the allergen as foreign, binds to it, presents it to the T cells. These T cells differentiate into the Th2 cells, which release interleukin-4. This activates B cells to differentiate and clonally expand into plasma cells. These plasma cells produce IgE. IgE is, again, an antibody. This means it has an FAB and an FC component of it. The FC receptor of the mast cell binds to the exposed FC of the IgE. The FAB of the IgE binds to the allergen's uh, antigen and allows for it to be reacted to. But if we get a secondary infection, um, it causes stronger cross links to be made between the allergen and the IgE, causing faster degranulation, histamine release and inflammation. Late phases of the reaction result in histamine and TNF-alpha, also allows for adhesion of the molecule onto the epithelium and migration of eosinophils, neutrophils and T-cells and further inflammation. Examples being asthma, food allergies and eczema. It can be treated through things such as like adrenaline and epinephrine injections, allowing for um, a relaxation of muscles and a constriction of blood vessels. You can take antihistamines which block the histamine that's released, decreasing permeability of blood vessels. And you can also t take corticosteroids, I can never say this word, corticosteroids which are low for anti-inflammation. So what is anaphylaxis? An anaphylactic re reaction is when there's a systemic release of vasoactive mediators resulting in vasodilation, a sudden drop in blood pressure, like edema and bronchial constriction. Blood vessel dilation can result in local redness, increased capillary permeability which results in swelling, bronchial constriction, mucosal secretion which can cause congested airways and a stimulation of nerve end endings which results in an itching or painful feeling.